In this video, you'll learn about open licenses, how to find them on different websites, and how to interpret them. In addition to searching for resources in OER repositories, you can find millions of OERs on the open web. Blogs, websites, and videos can all have open licenses, and they're easy to find through Google search. What can be tricky on the open web is finding and interpreting the licenses and terms of use. Let's take a look at different examples. This article is on a blog. Let's say I want to post the text of this article in my online course. When looking for license information, I generally scroll to the bottom of the page. If the CC license is listed, I'll click into it to read the terms to be sure of the use. This license clearly states that I can reproduce and remix the material, as long as I do the following. Provide attribution. There are also examples where the license for the item may be buried. This article on a web magazine has the license at the end of the article, rather than the bottom of the web page. This example has both a copyright symbol and a CC license. To understand this statement, think of a copyright statement that says, All rights reserved. The copyright statement that includes a CC license is saying the copyright holder has chosen to only reserve some rights, and they indicate the rights in the license that they've applied. So as in the previous example, follow the CC license guidelines. Let's also look at a video example. You will generally find the YouTube Creative Commons licenses under the Show More link. You can also look for license information at the end of the video. If you don't see a Creative Commons license, look for other licenses or a Terms of Use link. Follow the link to learn about terms for the site, and if you don't see any license information, you assume it's copyright with all rights reserved. If you still aren't sure, email the creator or check in with the Copyright Office at your institution. Thanks for watching.